heard about the mission trip, I really only wanted to go to get away for a little while. I mean, I like to do active things, and so I really only saw this as an opportunity to, like, get away from home and have fun, and maybe build a porch for an old person. <laughs> uh, but when I went to the first house, there was a man named Orville who lived there, and he was slowly lo losing his ability to walk, and he had a creaky wooden back porch, and the steps where an accident was waiting to happen, and his income was the yard sale items in the in the backyard. Seriously, that's really bad. And it was a real eye opener to see someone who he was just so happy just to sit on his porch with his granddaughters and talk to them. And here I was, really bored at home and just. So when I went on mission trip, I did not know what I was getting myself into. And I don't really like working, but I'm good with using power tools. And um, <laughs> so I never realized how lucky I actually was and how fortunate I was to have everything, a family who has no disabilities and have computers and iPads and good friends. there was the jungle, <laughs> the jungle, where a man with heart problems lived. His name was Ray. And it seemed strange to be doing all of this yard work when his partner, Eva, seemed to be perfectly capable. I mean, she would come out and talk to us, and I would look at her and be like, why isn't she helping out if she can walk and there's nothing wrong with her? But then on the last day, she finally brought him out and, to and explained everything. At the second place we worked at, um, we met a man named Ray and his wife Eva, and Ray had gone outside after the bad um, ice storm they'd had in Springfield, and when he went outside to try and clean up, he had a heart attack, and then he had another heart attack, and he then eventually had a stroke, and that put him in a wheelchair. And for a really long time, he was not able to go outside and see his backyard, which was a wreck, and he couldn't fix it because he was in a wheelchair. And the only way that Ray could live was to be attached to a battery or plugged into a wall. And Eva was struggling to hold out a part-time job and to take care of Ray at the same time. And it just sh this whole experience just showed me that I have a pretty good life. I don't live in poverty or a broken down house or have a family member that is dying of some horrible disease. It's really shown me that I should be thankful for all the wonderful things God has blessed me and my family with. <laughs>
day we got to meet Ray for the first time, and it's the first time he had been outside of his house for who knows how many years. And at first he didn't want to come out, and his wife had to convince him, but I think after seeing all the work we did, he was so happy. And um, it really um, made an impact on my life, but it probably even made a bigger impact on Ray and Eva's life because they're now able to come outside and enjoy their backyard. But I really shouldn't take life for granted because I think I have been.